Someone's dog is out. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Where you come from? Does he have a collar? I don't think so. She's been groomed too, so someone's taking good care of her. Hey, Phil. You guys missing a dog? Oh, you got one too? Where'd these dogs come from? My neighbor across the street from me, Phil, he said that he has a stray dog in his yard too. Maybe he belongs to these guys? Hey, are you guys missing a dog? There's a Yorkie here. Uh, there's one right here too. Okay, do you know what house? Wow, oh, it's a puppy. Oh, Got a haircut. Bottle. Yeah, I know, this one did too. That one's like really young. Is that your friend? Is that your friend? Yeah. Jim's the guy not next to me, the empty lot, but the other one. Okay, it's this house right here. This is so funny because I was live streaming the other day talking about doing like a pet detective video where we find missing pets. But I mean, technically, this is not really. Oh, no. I mean, hey, you never know. Coyote could have got these guys down Yeah, there, you know? I've seen coyotes out in these fields in the middle of the day. Oh, look at that poodle. Is that a poodle or a golden doodle? Looks like Luna. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. You are so cute. What is up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. It is a happy day here at the Safe Haven Ranch. Today, I'm gonna be introducing the oldest puppy, which is Cookie. She's gonna be 17 years old this year to my newest puppy back there. That's Gracie. She's our brand new livestock guardian dog, also known as a Great Pyrenees. Of course, we have Miss Piggy and baby llama cookie usually loves little dogs but gracie's far from being a little dog i mean even as a puppy uh oh here comes trouble so i'm having some issues especially with my jersey cow mona she's becoming very food aggressive and hasn't been very nice to the other animals hi i have one of your calves right here man she wants to smell her <laughs> Don't eat her. Don't eat her. You want to feed her some milk? No. Come on, feed her some milk. Where are you going? Where are you going? Give me a kiss. She's coming. She's coming. Okay, I think she just wants some food. Hi, guys. What are you doing? Hi, Miss Piggy. Hi, baby. You're so cute, Macy. Oh, my goodness. You guys want to see Cookie? Here, give Cookie a kiss. Give Cookie a kiss. No? No kisses for Cookie? <laughs> Cookie got bad breath. I'm pretty sure Cookie's gonna growl at the puppy because, uh, you know, she ain't with that. She likes to sleep, eat, and that's pretty much it. Right, Cookie? She's set in her ways. Gracie, what's this giant hole you're digging? Is that a present for Daddy? Is that what it is? Here, say hi to Cookie. Miss Piggy knows Cookie. <laughs> Look how much bigger she is. Yeah. Hi, Gracie. Hi, baby. I don't think Cookie wants to hang out. Well, these dogs really do like to dig. And that's why I put this board down here because she was getting out. She was just like squeezed right through. And so would Miss Piggy. So I put that and it looks like little by little they're finding their way out of the safe haven ranch. Hey, what a surprise. Can we guess? Why? Why are you trying to get out, huh? Why are you trying to get out? Why are you being a bad girl? Go give Cookie some love. So if you're thinking about getting a pet pig, <laughs> they're not very lovable. They're not like the, you know, they're not like llamas and alpacas. Uh, actually, I think llamas are probably a little bit more lovable than alpacas, especially if you get them young enough. My adult llamas really don't want much to do with me because they came from a petting zoo, they're a little bit older, they're set in their ways. But this little girl right here, she is just so precious. I'm having an issue with these pine shavings sticking to her. What are you doing? You're so cute. I had these leftover pine shavings from when I got the pet piggy. And I put them in here as bedding in the chicken coop. Now, only problem is, though, is it's sticking to them. So I'm going to need to clean this out, put some, like, straw or hay down. Seems like that does better. I just didn't want it to go to waste because I had a big, huge bag. You don't like corn, do you? I'm going to show you why. Cause she went around all her feed and just left the corn. I'll just have to not put corn in her feed. I know someone who likes corn though. Oh yeah. Is that good? See, I could pet her head a little bit, but she won't let me cuddle her. 
not like Macy. It's a little bit cold here, north part of Florida, which is why I'm not really stressing so much about her coat. Come maybe like April around there, I'm gonna more than likely try to attempt to shave her. But I don't know, I may have to hire someone like a groomer to do that. I don't think you'd be very happy with me. I'm trying to earn your trust, you know? I don't want you screaming at me. Oh, uh, th this is what I'm talking about with Mona. She'll literally just move you out the way and then just eat. You stink, Mona. You smell like garbage. Uh oh, here comes the other troublemaker. These guys were spitting at each other yesterday. And yes, llamas do spit. Don't spit on me, though. Yep, see, he's about to do it right now. Ooh. Oh, he don't, he don't mess with the cow. Yeah, Mona runs stuff around here. She be running stuff. He's quite intimidating. All, I don't know, four or 500 pounds of her. I don't know how much she weighs exactly. Okay, you're gonna share? You're gonna share with Lamar? Come on, let's let Lamar have some. Here, Lamar. All right. Did she slobber all over it? That's why you don't want it? I'm sorry. We're gonna need to quietly give Dixie some food. Now, I said to myself I wouldn't feed them for a little bit because of how they're getting with the aggressiveness. They got plenty of hay, got plenty of grass to eat, but this feed is like a treat to them. So when I feed them feed, it's not really a whole lot of feed. Oh yeah, here, I'm just gonna put it on the ground, okay? There. Okay, we took care of the corn for you, Macy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so pet pigs, they don't really like being held a whole lot. They don't even like being pet too much. But dogs, llamas, you know, there's even goats. Very friendly. I'm not saying Miss Piggy isn't friendly. She just doesn't really like to be touched a whole lot. One thing that she does love, though, to be fed. You just watch them food. That's what you like. You watch them food. This is how I have to feed Gracie. If not, Miss Piggy will eat all her food. You mad, bro? All right, fam, meet guard dog number two, livestock guardian dog. I'm not sure how much more of an impact she's gonna make, but one thing's for certain, she is walking in poo right now. Hi, Cookie. He's gonna sleep all day. Maybe bark, maybe a little growl here and there. So one thing I did forget to mention in the last video, because I was showing how we had like a serious bee problem. Now, I didn't want to, ew, stop licking your butt. What is she doing? Oh, okay, now you're not gonna do it. So yeah, we figured out a natural way with some natural stuff to be able to deter the bees and it worked. We sprayed some stuff around their feeding areas and the bees have not been back. One thing that's a little bit scary though is that we probably have a beehive somewhere in those woods behind the paddock. Bees do serve a very good purpose to our ecosystem, so don't wanna, don't wanna mess with them a whole lot. In fact, maybe we'll bring some more bees. Maybe we'll do like a honeybee farm one day. I don't know about that. Oh, Tiffany's highly allergic. Look at Dixie. Dixie's rolling in some dirt. Oh, she's having so much fun. <laughs> Every time I stop what I'm doing, she starts rolling again. So in a couple of days, I'm gonna have to probably do the dirtiest thing possible. I'm gonna have to do some fecal tests. That's right, I'm gonna have to collect number twos from all of these guys so we can test them and make sure that they are healthy. Very important, especially when they're out here, outside. There's a lot of parasites that are present. Got ringworm, hookworm, all kinds of worms out here. So have to be protected. Uh-oh, there goes Gracie. Don't get kicked by the cow again. She did get kicked. One day she was walking behind her and she gave her a, a little, I mean, it wasn't anything crazy. Just a little, just a little kick. She's gonna eat you. She's gonna eat you, be careful. Hey, be nice. You guys be nice. I'm the guy that feeds you, remember? We're all friends here. That's right. Gotta be careful with llamas when they have their ears back like that. It means they're about to spit. Okay. Okay, I wanna feed Dixie. Move out, move out of the way, Lamar. Move out of the way. No, be nice. Stop it, stop it. Be nice. This is for Dixie. This is for Dixie. Uh, no, this is for Dixie. <laughs> it's so funny, baby llama just skips right around the corn. 
She does a great job. And then guess who gets to eat the corn? You guys. Or perhaps Miss Piggy. Cookie's having a good old time in there. I think Cookie transitions well into a new farm dog. Hey, Cookie. You like it back there? Or you want to go back with the baby llama and Miss Piggy? Some more progress today. They are out there digging our septic tank. Ooh, look at that. Hey, y'all trying to hook me up with a shooting mound? There goes the actual septic tank. Pretty big. Oh my goodness. What happened? Oh my goodness. What you got there? Um, puppy. <laughs> neighbor's dog got out again. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hi. Oh my God, you're so cute. Watch your pop, watch your. Where's the other one? Under the truck. Oh, oh right. no, you're right here. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait, where do we take them? They're in this house right here. All right, come here. Like, oh. they don't have a big enough yard to stay in. My gosh. Life is up, fam. So we're into the next day, and we decided to check out an animal auction. This is not the same animal auction that I got Miss Piggy at. It's another one, and we're going to secretly, on the low, my boy James and I, maybe even Tiff might sneak her little camera in there. We're going to record and see how they treat their animals. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. What you guys doing? Aren't you guys cute? Hi. Look at this little shriveled bunny. How you doing, mister? How you doing? You look like look like a bunch of carpet. Hi, baby. What are you doing? You're so cute. You wanna be Mona's friend forever? Oh, there's more. Whoa. Hi, guys. Oh, my goodness. He's pretty ruffled there. Aww. That's your baby. Look at these little guys. Dude, you look like a boy. Oh, my goodness. Are you scared? You look so scared. Dude, this one looks just like Raven, but just lighter colored. Same size and everything. Okay, just in case I did get my numbers, got registered. Need to find Tiffany though. I want those. I want one of those babies right there. Hey James, can you talk like that? Hi guys! Hi guys! Whoa. Meet the new additions to the Safe Haven Ranch. All right fam, we are back here at the Safe Haven Ranch introducing our baby goats to the rest of the Safe Haven family. Welcome, welcome. These guys do need a name. I like Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise, huh? These little fence separators came in handy. This is what we're gonna use right now just for a little while. I figure it's gonna be a little crowded and the chicken coop, so I may may build them a little little goat house. So I did purchase some pallets. James gonna help me build a little house with his handyman skills. I'm glad I got two of them too, because what oh are they doing? Gosh. What are they doing? <laughs> Is she gonna get stuck? No, that's sheep and goat wire. She's just trying to eat the... Girl, I need you to back up. Oh my gosh. You got all of this over here. Yeah, they don't care. Grass is always greener for the goats on the other side. It goes Mama Llama. Llamas are really curious. Uh oh, she got her head stuck. Oh, her, her tag on her ear. Oh, oh yeah, we got to fix that. What are you guys doing? That tag's going to get ripped out. Careful. Careful. Okay. Yeah, we have to take those tags off. Hi, baby. How you doing, Macy? Are you, you loving your new friends? Yeah? What are we doing, James? Project. Late night project. All night long. Okie dokie fam. So, with the help of James and a little bit of elbow grease, you know, I had to work quick. It's the first night with the goats. I don't know. I, I feel bad just crowding them all up in the chicken coop because I do need to lock them up at night. We have the guard llamas and we do have the guardian dog, but the guardian dog, it's going to be a couple years before she becomes a real guardian dog. So, check out what we built. Bam! We got a little goat house with a couple pallets. Did get a metal roof. The pallets cost me $4 each. And I actually have some left over. 
I was gonna build a way bigger enclosure. Uh, so check it out. This is for the goats. It's pretty nice. What do you think, bro? I'd sleep in there. <laughs> you would sleep. You want to sleep in here? I mean, I'm good tonight. It's pretty cold. <laughs> but... <laughs> it is pretty cold. But yeah, we got some hay set up. Tiffany got a brand new blanket for them too. The puppy is kind of terrorizing the goats. A little bit like she thinks that they're like toys and she wants to play with them and uh yeah it's not going so well so at least for now so we need to have them separated but this is nice i do plan on getting more of that metal sheeting and like going all the way up those were like 20 dollars a sheet was kind of a pain to cut but it worked out good like we have a a roof i did anchor a couple of these sticks into the ground just to kind of give it support like this thing is rock solid i mean even with pallets i mean it is awesome like a hurricane is not gonna take this thing away it's nice i mean for what it is bro check it out it looks great yeah it's a perfect goat house i think a couple of goats can probably fit in there i mean even when they get a little bit older this is a it's a nice space because the goats are tiny my only concern is this top opening right here. I may put a couple things of barbed wire and yeah, I'm gonna perfect it. I don't know what you call this, like sheet metal, is that what it's called? So yeah, I'm gonna get some more of that sheet metal and do some towards the bottom as well, just to kind of make sure that they're, they're in there really good. Yeah, I think it's great. Time to go to bed. Time to put the goats in. Oh yeah. All right, let's get these guys. All right, wanna see your new home? Oh, poor puppy. It's like, they took my home. You were being mean to the goats. All right, come here, guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> when you take one, the other one cries. And, and actually, they like communicate with each other. Watch. They're so cute. We got to work on getting these ear tags off, too. Oh, yeah. I feel like that's so cruel. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Like, she, they, she's got two of them. Like, look at that. This is the same one that was on Miss Piggy. Hey, you hear the other one? <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> She's saying, Dad! How could somebody separate those two? I don't know. So good you got them because otherwise they, they might not have had that. <laughs> All right. All righty. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like these guys still need to be on milk. So in the morning, we're gonna get them some formula because the formula that we have for the, the baby llama is for goats too. So, hey, look, he's right here. Right now that will be quiet as soon as he puts the right here. There you go. There you go, you guys are nice and safe. Look at that, and you got some hay to chew on. Oh, they like the hay. Well, y'all are happy now. Good times, good times. All right. And we have an extra enclosure, too. These guys are triple protected. But, mm. yeah, I don't know. I would still feel a little safer having some extra, extra protection. What time is it? It's late? About 1 a.m. It's all good, though. Gonna go to church tomorrow. It's gonna be a great day. Sure is. Hopefully the right. dolphins win. <laughs> and uh, we'll be good. This is ridiculous, man. 22, 22 yards we lost. Oh Thank you so much for watching us here at the Safe Haven Ranch. Make sure to check out my boy James. Leave a Ooh. link down below in the comments. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.